Encryption didn't start with computers. It started with a need, the need to hide information. Back in the 15th century, Italian Leon Battista Alberti invented one of the first cipher device, a rotating disk that shift letters to create secret messages. Then came the Jefferson disk a cylindrical ciphered device used by US military. In the 20th century, the famous German Enigma machine thought to be unbreakable. Japan has own version, the purple encrypted machine, but all those tools had one thing in common. They used symmetric encryption, one key to both lock and unlock the message. That changed in 1977. RSA is named after its creators, Rives, Shamir and Adelman, professor at MIT who published this groundbreaking algorithm in 1977. It introduced a revolution, asymmetric encryption. One key encrypts the public key and other decrypts the private key. RSA is mathematical algorithm PGP or pretty good privacy is a program that uses RSA and other algorithms to encrypt emails and files securely. RSA is built on a simple idea. Large numbers are easy to multiply, but hard to factor back. A classical computer would need billions of years to break RSA. But in 1994, a mathematician named Peter Shore came up with an algorithm that could break it. Of course, if you had a quantum computer, not just any quantum computer, but the one with over 100 million physical qubits, stable quantum coherence for hours, cryogenic cooling down to 0.015 Kelvin, and power consumed in the megawatt range. This is not something you build in garage, it's state-level project costing hundreds of millions of dollars to break your RSA message. So no worry, with the public calculations around 2040, the RSA can be breakable in practice. Now, in next 10 years, is impossible. So will PGP die? In its current form, for sure yes, but the concept will survive because encryption isn't going away, it's just evolving. Post Quantum cryptography is already being tested by Google, Microsoft, Cloudflare and others. The future of PGP is PGP plus quantum safe algorithms like Kyber, Delirium or Flacon. Soon RSA will be replaced, I mean like 2040, but the core principles like public key, private key, digital signature, they will remain. At Neuronus Computing, we build Neuro RSA, a modern implementation of RSA and PGP encryption simplified in real world use. You can use RSA say in browser, mobile application or in our anonymous system resonance. So using a resonance, our secure messaging system, every message is automatically encrypted with PGP. And we go further, so we add another layer of security, Neuro SPM, a decentralized anonymization protocol that hides your device location and identity. That means even with quantum computers, there is no context to attack. You are invisible, not just encrypted. More information about Neuro SPM project you will find in the link in the description. I think there is no more projects like Neuro SPN where user can hide his device, emulate the process of hiding your identity is more advanced in the current VPN market. So you are welcome. Check the project Neuro SPN. The future of encryption is not just about algorithms. It is about context aware systems. We are entering an era of post quantum encryption, homomorphic encryption, quantum key distribution and decentralized systems like resonance that go beyond crypto and protect your full identity.